Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on time calculations. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos or follow at Guide Calculator on Twitter. We're going to use the calculator to change two and a quarter hours to hours and minutes. Press shift and then the mix number button and input two and a quarter. Make sure that you press right on the replay button to center your cursor and then press the degrees, minutes and seconds button and then equals. And here's our answer. We should read this as 2 hours 15 minutes. There's also a space for seconds should we have them in our answer. We're going to use the calculator now to find 10% of 6 hours. We're going to input 10 and then shift and the percentage sign and then times by 6 and then we'll press the degrees, minutes and seconds button and then equals. And here's our answer, and we should read this as 36 minutes. We're now going to use the calculator to express 10 hours 24 minutes in hours. Input 10 and then press the degrees, minutes and seconds button. 24 and then press the degrees, minutes and seconds button again, and then equals. This separates out the hours and minutes. Now your answer straight away is the same as what we've inputted, so we need to press the SD button twice. And here we have our answer, 10.4, so it's 10.4 hours. More of a practical question now. A train travels 105 miles in 90 minutes. What is the average speed in miles per hour? Speed is distance divided by time, so we'll input the distance of 105 miles and press the fraction button to represent our calculation and input 90 minutes using the degrees, minutes and seconds button and here's our answer 70 miles per hour. If you're wondering why I'm calling it the degrees, minutes and seconds button rather than the hours, minutes and seconds it's because we can do other calculations with this button involving degrees. The last question now. AJ lives in Birmingham and travels to London 126 miles away. He travels at an average speed of 63 miles per hour. He leaves Birmingham at 6.50am, is he able to reach London by 9am? We're thinking here about the difference between the two times. Input 63, our speed, times, and then enter some brackets, and then we want 9, and the degrees, minutes and seconds, minus 6, 50. So input that using the degrees, minutes and seconds, close your brackets and press equals. Now as our answer is a distance, we need to press the SD button to get our correct answer, which is 136.5 miles. If he can do that distance in that time, then he can definitely reach 126 miles within that time. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget that you can click on any of the links here to access some of the other videos from Calculator Guide or follow a Guide Calculator on Twitter. Thank you and see you on the next video.